Good morning, everyone. It's time for the tarot of the day. I'm going to. Yeah, the card's are ready. Hmm, here we go. Cool. Earth, air, fire, and water. So, in Earth, we have Six of Cups. The Six of Cup energy is all about that inner childhood um, enjoyment, passion, playing in the garden as children, childhood friends, those sorts of things. Um, remember why you set out to do the things that you set out to do. So, if we lose passions really easy when we make ourselves work extremely hard on something that we once enjoyed. So seek out that thing in your in your job and in your in your uh, development things that feed you that are uh, feeding your inner child and just let them go. In our air, we have a new negative thought or a new thought that is is not serving us. Again, it is Mercury in retrograde, so try your hardest not to uh, fall into the trap of negative self thought. It is a time for reflection and building in, which is part of the reason why we have that six of cups sitting there. Our passions are the Eight of Wands, which are fast-moving energies, and it is inverted. So be prepared for our passions to try and take over and put us in a position where we might find ourselves smashing our head against a wall. Uh, it's okay to slow down, especially in retrograde, because retrograde, if you make lots of big decisions, sometimes we make the wrong decisions because all of that cognitive energy comes flying back to us. We no longer have the direct and linear pathway of Mercury transcending the sky and, tra and transversing the sky to give us that clear information. So we may have to be cognizant more of our cognition. That's a very, very lot, big mouthful. What that means is that we have to be mindful that we are being mindful and in a way that is not organized. So do not allow your thoughts to make you run away and do things. That's why Mercury in retrograde, they always say, slow down, don't do things, is because it puts you in a position where um, you are working more off of the totality of your thoughts and less linear, which is absolute chaos and insanity and won't serve you. We have a very good sign in our uh, cups or our water suit. We have the magician. The magician technically is the first card, as the fool is kind of just the elemental base. The magician is all about balance, new beginnings, making plans, and setting things into motion. Uh, it's sitting in the house of the cups. So it's time for a house of water. So it's time for us to sit there and analyze all things that are of our life. Our uh, cups, our pentacles, our swords, our wands. Our thoughts, our emotions, our feelings, our intuitions, our passions, our living space, our occupation, all those things. Because we are in a position where we can set out new with these. So enjoy that new place to sit and enjoy that new direction to go um, you have all the tools at your disposal to make things work you just need to take time again to reflect this whole entire uh, retrograde is all about reflecting head cart ooh, ace of swords heart card knight of swords okay now comes the part of the divination where we are going to be talking a little bit about what somebody or a group of people need to start considering there is the inverted ace of swords with the page of swords that is picking it up and moving forward with it with the ace of swords is the presentation of it and with the knight of swords is the fast moving through it this negative self-thought that people are going through right now it is in it is mercury retrograde so we are hard to ourselves we do like to take things for a ride you have accepted that thought and you are allowing it to run amok i am encouraging whoever this is for to stop. Remove this thought. It's 21 days in total. I think we have probably about 18 days left of retrograde. Don't beat yourself up. Don't go back to that horrible ex-boyfriend or girlfriend who's destroying you. Don't go back to that job that's going to crush your soul because you are in retrograde. Right now is a time for you to heal, repair, and plan, not for a time for you to fall back into bad habits. And that's a very, very interesting and pointed part to this reading. Um, if that is you, shoot me a message if you need to talk. If you need a tarot reading, let me know, and we can get things on the go. But that is your tarot of the day, and it is the 30th. And you have yourself a wonderful end of the month. Like, share, and subscribe.